Five years ago, Japanese comfort food was introduced to Minneapolis at Zen Box Izakaya in the Mill District. And almost sneakily, kind of in a way, over the last few years, their bar menu has grown to be one of the most innovative here in the Twin Cities. And that's where we find Mike's Mix this week and a vegan take on a classic. A little bit difficult to translate sometimes into English, uh, but usually the best translation is gastropub. Even if you haven't heard the term izakaya before, you've experienced the vibe somewhere else. Intimate, energetic, and foremost, a place for neighbors to rub elbows. It's a big restaurant in this little space. Um, there's a lot to discover with food. There's always something more to discover. For the restless, small plates fill the menu. Sashimi, yakisoba noodles, fried wontons called gyoza, and possibly the Twin Cities' finest poke. Then there's the hearty comfort food like donburi, Japanese curry. Uh, we're here for ramen. Uh, we serve ramen as well, uh, which is a little unconventional for izakaya, but uh, izakaya can really take all kinds of form. And while the food received all the attention in the beginning, Zenbox's bar is stocked. A shochu is something that you would drink in an izakaya, so uh, you'll find a lot of shochu-based cocktails. Which is what? Shochu is a distilled spirit, um, kind of has a broad range of possibilities, but typically includes rice, but barley and sweet potato are going to be the most popular there. And the cocktail today is um, kind of a cheeky, fun throwback in a way, right? It is. This is one that a lot of people have memories with. It's a vegan version of a grasshopper, named for Japan's version of Bigfoot and called My Neighbor the Hibigon. We take an alternative here and make a tofu cream. Oh. Uh, you might be thinking tofu cream, isn't that going to taste kind of funky? Well, you, you sweeten it up just a little bit uh, and really play more into that, that lightness. The base, of course, is still cream to mint, but dump that neon green stuff. Instead, Tyler's using the Tempest Fujit, uh, wonderful, wonderful brand of spirits. Uh, if you're looking for quality uh, items to add to your bar, you can never go wrong with anything from Tempest Fujit. The same goes for the creme de cacao. Next is the tofu cream, just blended smooth tofu, and a sweetener called orjat. As an almond, uh, almond liqueur, and then kind of help round out all the features. You have a little cognac, just a little bit. Shake all the ingredients without ice first to aerate the cream, then again with ice to chill it. Double strain it into a chilled coupe glass and garnish with a mint leaf. Yeah, not like cloyingly sweet, no. not disgusting. No fake artificial right. mint toothpaste, anything like that. It's just clean, really crisp mint, deep dark chocolate, and nice fluffy texture. So that's the vegan version. If you're okay with dairy, you can just substitute that tofu cream for regular cream. Uh, the recipe is posted at WCCO.com slash Mike's Mix, and Zenbox will be participating in this bracketed style mm. bartender competition cool. again this year called Iron Bartender. I've posted information for that as well. All right. Sounds good. And that drink looked good. It's still pretty.